Hey guys, somebody that we know had a naughty time on ASOS the other day. I just wanted to show you what treasures I have purchased from ASOS. I just do want to say, if you guys don't know what ASOS is, I'd be surprised if you didn't, frankly, because it's amazing. It's a huge online store that just, I would probably say it has my favorite clothes just because the styles are so diverse and there's something for everyone. You can hear this rassling about in my lap. ASOS! Wait, let me not show you my address. A little ASOS box, a little not so ASOS, a little not so little ASOS box. I hope you don't mind if this is just a little chatty and I'm just, I don't know, let's just, let's have a chat. Let's talk about shopping. Let me show you what I bought <laughs> because I'm really excited about what I got this time actually. Anyway, I'll shut up, I'll get to it. I have been even more addicted to rose gold than ever this past month, which is, I don't know, it's like, duh, rose gold. It's been on trend and kind of in for a very long while now. And yes, I do own a lot of rose gold stuff, but do you know when all of a sudden something just clicks in your head and you're like, all the rose gold stuff must be mine. <laughs> That, yes. So my first little thing, I'm gonna start small, is this little wallet from the brand Monkey, M-O-N-K-I. Now, admittedly, this is not what I thought it was gonna be, but I still love it, so let me explain why. I have a wallet from Monkey. Wait, I should go get it and show you. Hold up. I have this wallet from also ASOS and also the brand Monkey. I think that's how you say it and it's huge and I just love it because it fits my passport and just tons of money, tons of money, haha. Ha. Like I literally carry around like $2 of cash max. Um, just fits lots of stuff. But yeah, I think this is called like the Continental Wallet or something. And that's what I thought I was getting here. It's like the same thing, only way smaller. I don't know, I thought about it more. I actually probably should have a nice lightweight, small wallet around. And this color is just, I can't say no to it. If you wanna go get anything also I'd like to mention, I will put everything down below that's still in stock. Some of the stuff I have opened up because I do not possess basic um, patient skills that an adult should when it comes to shopping. This is one of the things that I was so excited for, I couldn't wait. I'm obsessed with stars. Anything with stars on it, I want it. My ring has a star and a moon on it. My necklace is two stars. I just love them. I think they're so pretty and they make me happy. So anyway, now that you know that about me, I also really like denim shirts. And lo and behold, look at this glorious find that I have found. It is just like an oversized denim button up. It's got this gorgeous star print on it. This year I've kind of noticed that I've been trying to take note of the things that I use most in my wardrobe. You know, things that are really versatile and since I do travel, I've gotten it all down to this kind of science. You know, yes I wear this, no I don't wear this. There's just not a lot of room for excess. I don't know, in my life, in my suitcase, in my head. And I realized that I pretty much wear a denim shirt more than anything else and in more ways than anything else if that makes sense like, it's really versatile i thought this would look really cute sticking out from under a coat with a t-shirt under it as a light summer jacket i even like to tie during the summer with a high-waisted skirt tie these little tails into a bow like at my waist i don't know i just love it and this one's so special and cute i was really excited to find it Time for a little shoe time. Throughout my entire life, I have had a pair of sandals with a big bow on the front of them. It's just a wardrobe staple for me. I find them to be really feminine and cute and kind of a, another versatile thing. Dress up, dress down, go to the beach, go out to dinner. I love them. I, I just couldn't help myself. The color is perfect and the big chunky bow is just all of what I'm about. Good sentence, me. I'm kind of thinking they might be a little too flat. I do like flats, but there's something that hurts my back about really, really flat sandals. And second thought, they are so cute, but I'm not sure about this wrapping around my ankle and taking away all of the, I don't know, leg length that I would like to preserve. If I had longer legs and a back that didn't hurt, oh yeah. Hey, bear. What you eating? 
But I do think that they would look cute with jeans. We'll see if I can work out an insole situation and maybe wear them with jeans. Ooh, possibilities. <laughs> also, like hashtag youthful problems, not. I think I'm gonna save the best for last. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, we have a dress. Let's unwrap it. So I'm a big fan of wrap dresses because I think that they're really flattering for women in general. Crossover, a little v-neck, a little, I don't know, little details. They're so sophisticated and I'm very into this kind of raspberry color right now. Anyone who knows me in person would probably be surprised that I've found a color that I enjoy wearing other than black, gray, and taupe. I'm a fun girl. <laughs> it's all about raspberry right now. Raspberry and army green. Yes, please. It's from the brand Selected. It's got, like I said, the crossover neck there and some ruching. Though, truthfully, this is very sheer and I'm not the type of person who likes to put stuff under dresses. Like I would never wear a slip. I just can't, I can't live that life. <laughs> I don't like fuss like that. I can't handle it. It's way too see-through. No thanks. So that's definitely going back. I don't want to be a downer in these hauls, but I'm a very picky person and I really dress in a certain in a certain way. So I want to be really honest with you guys when I do these hauls or reviews or whatever. So hopefully it's not coming across as negative. This is the penultimate purchase. Ta-da! It is really difficult to show you on here, but this is a slightly oversized shift dress with a deep plunge neck and this really different, different for me at least, different color palette and pattern. It's in like a scuba material, which I love because it, I, I don't know, it doesn't hug me in the wrong places in the wrong way. Um, it's just like, it's, you know, I have like areas that I don't want to be like, oh, look at this. I ate a lot of pizza last week and, um, you can see it. <laughs> so I do really like wearing scuba material because it's quite forgiving and I'm a fan of forgiving clothing <laughs> and also pizza in a related story. This might not be a keeper, but I really do like it. I don't know if I mentioned it's from the brand Misguided. And if you do want to take a closer look at it, it'll, you know, down below, linky link. All the links for all the things reside in the down bar. I was also thinking that this would look really great if you kind of put some, like I don't want to fully show the booby situation. I don't want to be like, boobies right here, are they coming out for this party? I don't want, I'm not like that. Like no shame in that whatsoever. I think if you want boobies to come to the party, they, yes, the boobies can come to the party. I just don't generally do that. So what I was thinking, a little lace kind of bralette would look very cute under the plunge. Yes, yes. And um, I'm more comfortable with short skirts than I am showing boob town. We're gonna have to figure that one out. Okay, finally, the entire reason that I was on ASOS was that I saw this model on their newsletter with this my dog's scratching. Okay, my little bear wants to be in the video. It always likes to be involved with what everyone's doing. What was I say? Oh yeah, so I saw this girl, this model in the newsletter, wearing this gorgeous bomber jacket that I just <sighs> drooled over. And I, I thought it would be crazy expensive or I don't know, just I wouldn't be able to find it on the site, but I clicked through and I found it and it was almost sold out, but they had my size. So, if that's not destiny, I don't know what it is, so. Oh, I love this bear so much. I don't know if it's everyone's cup of tea, but, oh, it is my cup of tea. It is a kind of nudie, peachy bomber jacket. It's actually from the in-house, in-house ASOS brand. This was the most expensive thing in the entire purchase. It was $95, but as I'm trying to incorporate color into my wardrobe, and I really love wearing bomber jackets, I think this will be very worth it and will get a lot of use out of it. It's also the type of color that I think looks really nice during the summer when it gets, you know, cool at night. It's very fluffy and it feels very high quality, which I am really thrilled about and it fits great. And just for reference, if you do want to get this, I got this in a 10 
A, because it was the only size left, and B, because I always buy jackets in a 10, because it's a little oversized on my shoulders. I'm really super excited about this, and I can't wait to wear it. I think I'm gonna wear it with a black pencil skirt. I think that would look really cute. Probably a black top, too. I just love wearing black. It's a little color, I'm trying. I'm going out on my limb, you know? Getting out on the limb. And that is it. ASOS haul complete. I really appreciate you guys watching this. It's so fun to open things with you guys and talk about style and beauty and stuff. I don't have like a ton of people in my life that are as into this as I am, so it's really nice having you guys. So everything will be down below. Hopefully stuff is still in stock if you saw something you needed to check out. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you continue to join me and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.